Her trip through the German countryside unveils many monuments from its impressive historical past. Castles dating back to the Holy Roman Empire scatter the landscape of rich, fertile plains bordered by forested uplands approaching the Bavarian Alps in the south of the country. Munich is Germany's third largest city, situated on the River Isar north of the Southern Alps. Here you'll find architecture dating back to the Romanesque period, a cultural domain fitting for its reputation as a centre of arts and science. Adding to the city's international reputation as a world-leading sports destination is the Munich Eichenried Golf Complex on the outskirts of the city. It's easy to understand why this tournament on the European tour is so popular with players and spectators alike. This year was the 20th anniversary of an event which over the years has attracted the very best golfers from around the world. We had great winners over the year. Um, yeah, we can call it history. You're right, 20 years is a long time. And, uh, well, Munich is a great city. BMW, a great company with great products that uh, I think everybody enjoys. So, all together, I think, makes a good tournament. German golf has relied on the talents and reputation of one player in particular over the last 20 years. Bernhard Langer is an icon in his home country, and he admits to the pressure of carrying his nation's hopes. There's always the high expectations. That's what I have seen over the last 20 years. You know, the German golfers think I should win every time I play in Germany, and it's not that simple. Uh, Luckily enough, I've had some very good tournaments here and I've won a lot of them, but um, there's a lot of competition out there. There's 100, usually 44, 156 guys teeing it up and uh, most of them have a chance to win, so it's, it's not that simple. There's a lot to admire about this tournament in its attempt to encourage young golfers. Eight 14-year-old amateurs from all over Germany were selected to partner a high-profile pro over nine holes. The Pro Youth Tournament showcased a range of promising players, with young Michael Dunreuter paired with the tournament's defending champion. I'm excited to play with Niklas Fast. He's a good player and I'm a great fan of him. How long have you been playing golf? I play four years now and I like it. And many of the young golfers express some apprehension ahead of the unique event. A bit nervous because I'm playing with the two player, and yes, it's it's uh, I think it's a good feeling, and yeah, I'm a bit nervous. Von Donhoff was paired with rising European star Rory McIlroy. He's a very young player, but I think he will be uh, good in the future, and it's a pleasure. Do you want to make a career of golf? Yeah, of course, it's a dream, and I hope it will be good. Yeah. Former US Open winner Michael Campbell's short game looked sharp on the I Can Read course. And following the round, he had plenty of enthusiasm for the talents of his young protege. It was great to play with uh, Lucas. Uh, he played um, some wonderful golf, and he's only 14 years old and he's got lots of talent. When I was 14, I was off 14 handicap, he's off three, so he's definitely got a, a bright future. With two teams tied at the end of the nine holes, the organisers produced a trump card, a European Cup style soccer shootout to decide it. Caddies and players tried their luck for what seemed an impossible challenge. Finally, the player going through the leanest of times on the professional circuit delivered the knockout punch. Okay. Back in the winner's circle for you. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, God, it's been too long. It's one thing I've missed over the last, you know, three years. I'm one for three years, and, you know, I've just got to keep on battening it out, you know, just work hard and keep on practising. For the tournament's biggest names, opportunity like this were rare 20 years ago. And with such wide-ranging support for this event, Langer believes the prospects for German golf are bright. We're grateful and thankful for anybody that's coming up that shows some promising moments and, and tournaments, and we have a few. You know, we had Alex Checker who's won a few times and he's steady on the USPGA Tour. We have Martin Keimer, who is an upcoming, rising, hopefully superstar in the future. I'm over the hill more or less, so we need a few other guys that uh, fill the, go in the footsteps and carry the flag on and the torch, and uh, hopefully that way, you know, German golf will continue to grow. Growing in a different direction was a former winner of the BMW International Open, American golfer John Daly. Struggling to find a home base tour, the former Open Championship winner is delighted to be back playing in Germany. A little jet lag today. Um, kind of just took it easy yesterday. And, you know. 
to get a late time on Wednesday and fill the legs a little bit, but should be ready tomorrow. How much golf are you playing? Playing quite a bit. I just um, hadn't played enough to get in a lot of the big tournaments. Um, but, uh, you know, the rest of the year, I'm in quite a few of them. I uh, play a few over here, and I've got, got quite a few left in the States to play. So. Do you still get a lot of invitations to tournaments? Oh, yeah. I think I've got 17 left, I think. 16 or 17 left in the States. The fall, you know, the fall classic and stuff. And um, But, yeah, just trying to get this rib right. It's, it feels really good. The swing's starting to come around. So the star-studded lineup was ready for the first round action. We'll return to the BMW International Open later.